Internalized racism is the acceptance by a stigmatized, marginalized member of a non-elite racial group of negative societal beliefs, stereotypes, racial prejudices, or discriminatory behavior about them, which might further lead to the rejection of cultural or religious practices of their own racial group. Though individual may or may not be aware of their own acceptance of those racial prejudices about them, other components considered part of racial, gender expression, and sexual identity doubt are also considered part of the construction of internalized racism. Internalized racism is a psychological process that might affect all non-elite racial, gender, and sexual groups. It involves the acceptance of the typical conventional representation of race, gender, and or sex which places racial, gender, or sexual minorities beneath the elite privileged racial groups, conforming solely to socially constructed hegemonic expressions of gender and sexual identities. Such a tolerance of negative stereotypes or prejudices about one's racial, gender, or sexual group lead to self-degradation and self-alienation, incorporating shame about one's racial, gender, sexual identity. Specifically, acceptance of prejudices about one's ability, beauty, sexuality, gender expression, body, or intellect worth. One of the manifestations of internalized racism is the abandonment of natural characteristics associated with one's racial, gender, or sexual identity in favor of an elite racial group's culture or values, or in favor of the hegemonic expression of gender and sexual identity in an effort to acculturate to a racist or homophobic society. So this can lead to devaluation of the heritage of one's racial, gender, or sexual groups in favor of acculturating to hegemonic conservative cultural or religious beliefs that has been shown to have negative impacts on the health and well-being of racial, gender, and sexual minorities. Internalized racism makes its biggest impacts on children and adolescent refugees, who yet do not have any context for understanding the injustices of the society, but rather personalize the negative narratives that are coming at them without having the framework for understanding racism. But internalized racism is not simply a result of racism. It is a fruit of systemic oppression with a life cycle of its own. Indeed, there's a social system that undermines the culture and integrity of a racialized individual and teaches them to fear their own values and differences. Seeing internalized racism as systemic oppression allows us to distinguish it from human wounds like self-hatred to which all persons are vulnerable. Stages of internalized racism. Stage one, encounter. At this stage, a racialized individual is exposed to the hidden reality that racial prejudices and racial discrimination are well alive within European societies. For instance, white European stereotypes classify many young adult African women in Europe as sexual deviants. This analysis of young African women's sexuality is affirmed and legitimized in mass media that present them as sex objects, which encourage sexual abuse or exploitation of African women. Indeed, young people of African descent are banded together and branded as criminals, terrorists, drug traffickers, and all of them are suspected of being illiterate. Stage 2. Racial Gaslighting At this stage, the racialized individuals experience frustrations and confusions as a result of racial gaslighting. Racial gaslighting is deeply rooted in societal structure and social inequalities and young people of African descent in Europe are more likely to experience it, both in their professional environments and in their personal lives due to racial discrimination. Racial prejudices that young people of African descent are illiterate, more prone to criminality, prostitution, or drug trafficking, are often used to excuse the dismissal of their feelings and lived experience. And thus, they are forced to behave like white Europeans if they are to make it. Stage three, immersion. At this stage, the racialized individual is frustrated, confused, questions their own sanity, and knowingly or not knowingly, the inner life is adjusted by adapting a sense of inferiority to other white people. Being grounded in the victimhood and denying one's own power and responsibility for their own emotions. This is the inner dimension of internalized racism. A young person of African descent is trying to fit into white European scenes by acting, thinking, and behaving in a manner that lessens the value of being a person of African descent, with a thirst of acceptance from their white European peers.